Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking Lentils 101 about lentils and what they are. This is the first in a series of videos that I'll be releasing about Lentils 101, di covering different aspects of lentils and what to do with them. To see all of my notes on Lentils 101, I have a link below to my blog site. Feel free to check it out. Today we're just talking about what they are. Lentils are part of the legume family. They're actually pulses and a pulse is an edible seed that grows in a pod and the pod may only have one or two seeds in there so you can imagine there are a lot of pods that we go into to make a pound of lentils. These things have a long history with mankind. We have evidence going back 8,000 years showing mankind having eaten lentils. So they are um, a wonderful food that we have enjoyed for many, many years. We have different types of lentils available to us. There's brown, which is very common and available in just about all grocery stores. And then we have red lentils, which are actually more orange than red. And a lot of grocery stores will have those as well. We also have green lentils, yellow lentils, black lentils, and, the, and pui lentils. Those varieties you might find in a local grocery store to you, and you might not. But if you wanted to try them, I'm sure you could find them online. Now, the brown lentils, which are so common to us, are found in just about every grocery store that I've ever been in, at any rate. They have a mild, earthy flavor and they hold their shape pretty well when they are cooked. So they're kind of a universal lentil where you can use them in just about any recipe that calls for lentils, whether it's a salad recipe, a soup recipe, or casserole, or just boiling the lentils and eating them with some flavor or whatever you put in there. They do pair up well with grains because when you combine the two, you have a complete, very digestible protein. Green lentils have a little bit of a peppery flavor. They cook up similar to the brown lentils, so you can use green lentils pretty much any way you want. And they do hold their shape well when they're cooked. Now the red lentils, if you take a solid look at those, you'll see that they're actually smaller than the brown or green lentils. And that's because they've had their outer coating removed and they've been split. So they cook up a lot faster. The brown and green might cook in about 30 minutes. The red ones will cook in 15 to 20 minutes and they will get mushy. Now that property is valuable and makes them a great addition for soups. There's a lot of creamy red lentil soup recipes out there that take advantage of that property. So they have a little bit of a sweet, uh, nutty flavor to them. So that helps as well in making that a very, very good thing to use in a soup. The yellow lentils are very much like the red ones. They are also split, they also cook up quickly, and they can also be used in soups as well. Now the black lentils are also called beluga lentils and they have a thicker coating on them than the brown or the green. So they do take longer to cook, maybe up to 40 minutes to cook. And they will maintain some of their crispiness to them as well, a little more bite to them when you eat them. I've never seen them in grocery stores, but I imagine, I'm sure you can find them online if you wanted to give them a try. The Puy, P-U-Y, the Puy lentils, come from Le Puy, France, and they are similar to the green lentils. They have a little bit of a peppery flavor to them. Again, you might find them online. I'm not sure that you're going to find them in a local grocery store. Well, I hope this answers your questions to what lentils are and what they taste like and what you can do with them. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.